All right, so let's power our radio on. Switch warning, engine off. Flight mode. Let's go ahead and plug in our heli. Let it boot up. All right, so the way that we got this thing set up uh, is pretty. It's exactly the same as it was, uh, just a different profile. Uh, because now you have a spirit device. Um, the only thing that you didn't have before is stability modes. Right, so we're still the same when it comes to our throttle hold right here. Right. Um. So that's still throttle hold. We have idle up one. Okay. Right? So idle up is going to make it so that mid stick you have zero pitch, but you have 70% throttle at all times. And then you have your positive and negative pitch. Flight mode two. Idle up two is going to be the same, just has more pitch. Flight mode. So when your throttle stick is all the way at the bottom and you're just in regular mode, normal mode. Flight mode one. Flight mode normal. Right? Stick all the way at the bottom. Uh, you're actually going to have zero throttle, and you're going to have about two or three degrees of negative pitch. And then as you come up and you get to zero, you'll actually have zero pitch. And then as you keep increasing, you'll get more throttle and more pitch, instead of it being one throttle at, at all times. So, over here, obviously, we have our cyclics. And you can actually see they're much more lazy than they used to be. Uh, they used to be like lightning fast, um, but that's really going to mess with you if you're just a beginner. This dial right here is actually going to adjust your gyro gain. On any modern flight controller, when you have uh, some type of stability mode or something like that, what you do is you edit the gyro gain. So basically what's happening when I pull this panic switch is the gyro is going to about negative 45. So when I pull this, it'll be at negative 45. When I let go, it'll be at positive 45. Okay, so that's your panic switch, right? And then this switch is just to enable it at all times. So if you pull that switch, now the middle position does nothing. The middle position is basically the same as the back position, okay? So if you pull it all the way forward, it's the same thing as pulling this switch, but it's all the time, so you don't have to hold it. So again, this is your panic. If you're going out of control, you can hit this and it'll level you out. And then if you want to just always stay level and never be able to turn the helicopter over, you can just flip this all the way on and just leave it on. None of the other switches are used, so that's how everything works. And let me just demonstrate. So say we tilt all the way forward, right? And then our swash plate starts leveling out. And we don't want it to. So we hit the panic. Right? And you can see it's tilting us so that we will go, if we hold the panic, it's pushing our swash to level us back out. And then if we just turn it on at all times, you can actually see. So we tilt forward, and it stays completely forward. If we tilt backwards, it stays wanting to lean us back forward again. And same if we tilt side to side, if we tilt this way, that swash should level back out, but it's not leveling out. It's going to bring us back to straight. And again, tilt forward. That swash should level out. It's not because it's slowly going to bring us back to level. So that's how that works, sir. And that's how these switches are set up on the radio. All right, test flight. We're going to spool it up and idle up one. And literally, man, just pop it in the air right away. Just get it off the ground. Flight mode one, armed. Smooth, no vibrations. Nice and flat. All right? Kind of windy out today, but that's okay.